All right, so I'm in a Tesla P100D Model S, and uh, this morning an update came out uh, related to performance, so I thought I'd just talk about it a little bit. Basically, there's been some controversy around the some of the performance model of the Teslas about um, possible abuse of uh, running the car too hard, and uh, Tesla came out and admitted that they were reducing power in some vehicles that were uh, determined to be at risk for braking. So I've only seen one documented case on the forums uh, where uh, someone's car was reduced uh, at first by maybe 60 horsepower and then subsequently later develop, developed an even bigger power decrease of uh, about 100 horsepower less than it came with. And uh, this person was noticing performance decreases and actually measuring the power output. Went to Tesla and complained about it and um, after uh, weeks or months of uh, going back and forth, Tesla finally admitted that yes, uh, they were pulling back power on some cars that uh, they deemed were uh, under abuse, right? So um, that's obviously a problem. Tesla said that um, it was, you know, other car manufacturers do this, um, and I've never heard of that. I've had a lot of different performance cars and um, certainly never seen power decreased on purpose due to uh, driving the car hard. Now, of course, if you abuse the car, you know, any, any car manufacturer can come back and, and void your warranty on some of those parts. That's certainly happened in a lot of cases with uh, tracking cars or abusing them beyond uh, what the car was designed to do. But the Tesla, I mean, if their quoting is supposed to do 0 to 60 in 2.5, then 2.4, uh, 2.3, and now with this recent 2.2 uh, seconds for Motor Trend, uh, certainly you can't uh, advertise that the car does that. Uh, pay upwards of forty thousand dollars extra for the car to get those performance uh, specs, and uh, and then um, do that, and then have the power reduced. So also the data coming back from Tesla or from the different uh, service advisors and uh, so forth was really inconsistent. Uh, never got a clear picture on what would cause those limitations to be imposed on your car reduction of up to 100 horsepower. Uh, some people looked at the code or were trying to figure it out. People said, oh, after uh, 600 launches uh, power might be reduced or after just a you know 25 launches um, it really wasn't clear where you would hit that limit some people said it was only if you use launch control if you didn't use launch control full throttle that this that whatever um, either way it wasn't uh, the right thing to do to reduce power um, especially when you advertise the car can go 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds obviously people are going to try that out and uh, that's why they paid the extra money to get that performance specs now in the few Teslas that we've owned for the performance oriented ones, the P85, P85D, P90D, P100D, uh, Insane and Ludicrous, we never ran into any of those limitations and um, um, as you can see from our videos, we've certainly tested the limits of the car, plenty of 0-60 to 60 runs, plenty of quarter mile runs, and uh, never had that software limitation. So this morning the update came down that basically says um, what's new in this update, software performance restrictions due to frequent power usage have been removed. Uh, these reductions have been in place to practically protect the powertrain from wear and tear. Instead, we will monitor the condition of the powertrain and display an alert if service is needed so we can take proactive steps such as replacing parts if necessary to maintain the vehicle's performance. Uh, so I can read that on the screen. That's the update. I'm on autopilot driving in downtown Miami, which is nice. Um, so there you go, uh, Tesla removed that uh, power reduction and we'll just monitor it. Uh, they're not mentioning anything about warranty. Um, so I think that's great news. I think Tesla saw a lot of complaints coming around uh, about re reducing the performance and uh, stepped up to the plate and uh, did the right thing. Uh, removed those software limitations and um, we'll just monitor the car and if it needs service, uh, it says they'll take care of it. So um, there you go. Of course, we're gonna, I don't think this includes any performance enhancements. Um, We've yet to be able to replicate the 0 to 60 in 2.2 or 2.3 seconds uh, as per the Motor Trend got, uh, but we're going to try it again. We're going to take it to the track. Hopefully this next time at the track uh, there's some better prep and we'll go for that 10.6 uh, run or maybe 10.5 what uh, Motor Trend got. Of course, they're not running their car to real drag strip, but they're using uh, V-Box or other tools to measure that. So to me, that run is not entirely real world. Um, not saying the car is not capable of it, and we'll certainly give it a try, and uh, we'll see how it does. So, what are your thoughts on uh, restricting power uh, that Tesla did, or any other car manufacturers? I haven't heard of that before, um, and uh, you think it's the right thing to do? Comment below. Thanks for watching.